When you think of college students on spring break, you probably don't picture this. Students from the University of Massachusetts and MIT are here in LA to install solar systems on homes for low income families, and they're doing it all as volunteers on their spring break. Joining us to tell us about the program is Michael Kadish from Grid Alternatives and Allison Shepard, a student at MIT. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, well, thank you for having us. Let, let's talk about Grid Alternatives. It's the largest nonprofit solar installer in the nation. What about this program? Yeah, so our mission is bringing renewable energy uh, and the benefits of that to underserved communities, including the jobs and job training. And as part of that, uh, we have a program where we reach out uh, nationally to colleges and invite them to come sp spend their spring break here with us. So that complements the job training we do for local community colleges like LA Trade Tech, and we mix that up with people who've come here from schools like MIT. So yeah, let's speaking of MIT, Allison, your spring break, how's it been and how did you choose to do this? Yeah, so I heard about um, Grid Alternatives and the Solar Spring Break through the MIT Energy Initiative. Um, and I love energy. I'm super involved at MIT. Um, I thought it was a great opportunity to get out to LA, um, get some hands-on work in, um, in installing solar panels, something I'm really wow. interested in, also while giving back to the community. That's wonderful. And you are a computer a engineering, computer engineering yeah, um, student, Chemical correct? engineering, Chemical yeah. engineering, even smarter. <laughs> <laughs> well, how, how has this affected your life? How has it changed you? I think this has honestly been an incredible experience. Um, again, I heard of it like, oh, cool energy, like why not let's go install some solar panels, but there's been such a, another aspect to it that's been really incredible. Um, just like more the social side and helping these low income uh, families that just having solar panels on the roof makes a huge difference. Um, we got to go to Homeboy yesterday and see what a difference um, Grid is actually helping with job training um, and cool. getting them into the workforce. Um, and solar is like a huge opportunity to, for creating more jobs and stuff. Um, wow. So all that together has been really, really exciting and gave, definitely gives us a lot to think about going back to MIT. You might need to hire her eventually. <laughs> yeah, she <laughs> like pretty much nailed it, yeah. <laughs> well, talk about how is it funded? How do you do this and how do you choose the homes? Sure. So uh, we're really grateful that we're one of the ways that the state of California's cap and trade fund, mm -hmm. uh, the greenhouse gas reduction fund, that money makes its way back to the state's most environmentally disadvantaged communities. So we take funds from the state uh, as well as from generous corporate sponsors and individual donors uh, and we you know, use that to provide solar at no cost to families. We reach out to those families, we have an outreach team, we work with community organizations uh, to tell folks about our program. Uh, if people go to www.gridla.org, uh, they can find out if they qualify. Uh, it basically, if they're below a certain income level and they live in one of these communities, uh, they might be able to get solar uh, at no cost through Grid Alternatives. And wow. wonderful students uh, mm. like Ali here can come out and uh, learn on the job, and you know they might actually decide solar is the career for them, and we can help them put right. on. Right. What a wonderful thing yeah. you both are doing. That's great. And Allison, happy spring break. Thank you. And you get to go back to school on Friday, I believe. Yes. Well, good luck. You're a sophomore. You got a couple more years. And then Michael, thank you very much for everything. Thank you and so much. And if you'd like to learn more about the nation's largest nonprofit solar installer, you can go to the website, gridalternatives.org. Thank you, Michael and Allison, for being here today. Great. Colleen?